Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has released PowerToys version 0.65.0, which is now the latest release. And you can just click on check for updates if you are using the app. And this latest update to version 65, unlike the previous version, which was 0.64, doesn't give us any new utilities and tools. There are no new utilities in this latest release. But there are a couple of new features which are worth mentioning. And over and above um, about three new features, we get a whole lot of different bug fixes to most of the different tools and utilities and improvements. Now, um, there are three new features um, that we can highlight in this video. And the first is that um, they have included custom formats support in the color picker. So if we head over to the color picker tool, which is a quick and simple system-wide color picker, and we scroll down here you'll see under color formats add custom color format now you can add your own custom color format and yeah they give you a couple of parameters that can be used and then once you've saved that um, entered that you can just save that format and then you can use that um, as part of your color formats by adding a custom color format so that's the first new feature the second is if we head over to the quick accent utility and Quick Accent is an alternative way to type accented characters and um, useful for when a keyboard doesn't support that specific accent. And you can just do a search on the channel as I have um, covered this previously in a previous video um, regarding Power Toys. And there is a new description now of the selected character in Quick Accent. So when you select a character, which you can do by um, selecting, pressing um, the key after holding down the target letter. So that's you hold down your target and then you press left, right, or space. And, and when you've done that, um, there's a new description now of the select character in the Quick Accent tool. And then the code base in the latest version, which is 0.65.0 of PowerToys, is now upgraded to work with .NET 7. And we've moved up from .NET 6 to .NET 7. So if we just head over to our settings, apps, uh, installed apps, and um, we just scroll down here you will see now um, that the code base um, is now on desktop, desktop runtime 7 and this was installed with the, the latest version 0.65.0 and um, that used to be uh, the desktop runtime version 6 and now has been upgraded to 7 with this latest edition of power toys and as mentioned there are numerous fixes that have rolled out and improvements too many to mention in this video but if you want a little bit more info you can just click on welcome to power toys and if you go to the bottom in the bottom left of the welcome menu click on what's new and um, yeah you will get all the different highlights known issues general and all the different fixes that have rolled out to power toys as mentioned too many to mention in this video so power toys version 0.65.0 now available which is now the latest release for desktop and in case you're unaware power toys is a set of utilities that can help you to tune and streamline your windows experience for greater productivity and is available for both windows 10 and 11 as a download from the microsoft store so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one